Welcome back to Holistic Flow. I am your girl Lolo. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to start your locks and specifically talking about how many locks to start off with. I know there are a lot of people who enjoy the starter lock tips and tricks videos. There are some people who have already started their locks. There are some people who are looking to start their locks but are waiting for the right time or they are waiting to get more information that makes them more comfortable to start. And I hope this will be one of those videos. I personally started off with 74 locks and over the time I've combined them into 68 locks. I'll kind of like talk about how combining your locks may come into the play. And also I started with two strand twists. Here's the video of how I started. Some people commented um on my starter locks uh, when i had them saying they're like how are you gonna get locks out of those because they look kind of shiny right and they were a lot thinner than the locks that you see here so i'll talk about some things like part to lock ratio if you've ever heard of that term you know thickness and thinness of the hair really hair density things like that so before we get into it, if you are new here to my channel, hello. Here on Holistic Flow, we are creating a safe space, a space for self-love, self-growth, and maturity, and we're taking a journey towards an overall better mind, body, and spirit connection. So if you're with that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you know whenever I upload a new video. After you've done that, thank you so much, and let's get right into it. So the first uh, and most important thing that you probably want to consider when you talk about how many locks to start with is your hair density your hair density is what people perceive is the thickness of your hair naturally but what it really is is the amount of hairs on your head altogether this plays a huge role in how many locks that you would want to start with because the thickness of the locks has a large role in how many locks that you have depending on your thickness of your hair somebody has who has low density hair they would want to lean more so to the side of having a higher lock count therefore more locks on their head so that would be like you know the sister lock look the micro lock look maybe traditional locks but with a count of more than 150 to 200 they would want to have a uh, smaller locks because the more locks that you have i.e the smaller the locks are then the more parting you would have on your head to even out the low density of your hair so i hope that made sense if you have lower density hair or thinner hair then you would want to have more locks to make your hair look thicker so whatever you have you want to do the opposite of that to create the illusion of thickness if you have high density hair thicker hair like i do you would want to have less locks so that it will even each other out. So when I started, I know my locks didn't look super thick when I started, but there is something called part to lock ratio. And that just means that the size of the part that you start with will estimatedly, is that a word? They will estimatedly be the size of the lock. The reason why my locks look so thick is because when they mature, they grow to be that same size of the part. And that is part to lock ratio. When you start your locks out, don't be worried that whatever they look like starting out will be how they will be when they mature because that is so far from the truth. I didn't see my locks being this thick, honestly. And then I, I made some of them even thicker because I've combined certain locks. If you wanna see my videos on how I combine my locks, you can see the tab above. But basically, I started off with 74 locks. When you saw the two strand twists that I started with, those are 74, right? That's a that's a very low lock count compared to the average, I would say, traditional lock count is probably like 90 or something. For multiple reasons throughout my journey, I've combined them into 68. And because I already have, you know, thick hair, if I had more locks to work with, it would make my maintenance routine even more difficult because it would take longer. However, somebody who has a, a lot less hair than me, if they had 74 locks, then it could possibly cause breakage for them because their part to lock ratio is off. And also their hair density is not set up to be able to support 
the thickness of their locks. That's why you see some people who have uh, baldness in some spots, they have locks that are falling. And that guideline is mostly for safety. Like, you know, for people who do have lower density hair or thinner hair, they would want, uh, you know, a strong base to support each individual lock. So you want a smaller base so that when your lock matures, it will fill out the part to lock ratio. However, for people with high density hair, with for people with more hair, they could they could kind of like do either like you can do more locks a higher lock count but it would probably be uh, like i said a lot more maintenance because if i had sister locks oh my goodness my hair would be so thick or if i had sister locks or micro locks which are really really small i would either you know interlock them or probably probably wouldn't want to retwist because that would take a long time but i guess that would be another factor con to consider how much time in your day do you have to dedicate to your wash day routine to your maintenance routine i don't put a lot of time in my hair at all um, my maintenance routine takes about from the time that i wash it to the time that it dries less than 10 hours but for somebody who still has like my density of hair and would want to get sister locks or micro locks if they really want the super volume full lock uh, full look <laughs> then they could go for that I think somebody who has a uh, micro locks who has a close to like my density hair would be Kiki J I remember watching her journey and kind of seeing oh like her micro locks look great they look gorgeous but that is probably not what I would want for myself because I would want a lot less maintenance than you know interlocking because I think she does uh, reties interlocking her locks so if you're really trying to get the the perfect i would say you know perfect amount of locks for your own density your own hair type and your preference and how you want it to look maybe find people on youtube or on pinterest that have a similar hair density as you similar even hair texture and see how many locks they have and see if the look that they have is the look that you want not necessarily that you'll get the same exact look but it could be really helpful especially for the you know hair density part i also wanted to give this example of so day locks here on youtube she started her locks out with 52 locks and she is an example of a locker who is doing fairly well her locks are, have been growing beautifully because i have been following her journey and even though she does have low density hair she got um a higher lock count she has an even higher lock count than mine and so her locks um, do look less voluminous because she has a higher lock count and lower density hair, but she is not experiencing breakage or anything of the sort. So you just have to kind of see, um, you know, what your hair is like, know your hair better, and that might yield you um, a better result in your journey. I can't think of the exact numbers off of my head of how many locks is preferable for low density to medium density to high density, but I can put some estimates on the screen of numbers of locks that you can start with and you can kind of like play with those numbers. And uh, just remember this one thing. Once you start your locks, say that you start with a lot of locks and you want you know one year into your journey or however you want to combine your locks boom then you can combine your locks however if your locks have matured to a certain extent it'll be difficult to combine your locks on the other hand if you started with a lower lock count and you say dag i should have i should have started with a, a higher lock count i should have started with more locks so i can have more volume then there's no way to kind of like go back once they matured you know so no pressure, but I would say definitely do the ample amount of research that you feel comfortable with whenever you go to start your lock journey. But just keep in mind that if you do have a vision of exactly what you want your hair to look like in the end when it does mature and it doesn't look like that, it's okay because that's all part of the journey. I don't think anybody's hair looks exactly like they have planned for it to look like, especially when you have locks because locks have a mind of their own. And that's kind of like that's pretty much the point, you know? So just embrace whatever comes. People can start over and over as many times as they need to before they get how comfortable they feel with their own hair. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more lock videos. Let me know what else you would wanna see, some topics. I take a topic requ requests all the time. They help me so much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, I'm sending peace your way, love your way, and joy to you, your family, and your friends. All right, y'all, peace. Hey, really quickly, do you value feeling seen, feeling heard? 
and connecting with a community who also wants to do the same? Do you often experience mental fatigue, stress, anxiety, and a lack of structure or routine in your day? Do you want to manage your stress levels better, develop a better relationship with yourself, and get clear on your personal goals in your life? Well, then becoming a Holistic Fit Meditation member would be great for you. I help beginner practitioners lead life with less stress, less mental clutter, and more joy so they can reach an overall more holistically fit lifestyle through yoga practices and mindfulness meditation techniques such as breath work, present moment awareness, and noticing stress and anxiety built up in the body, not only mentally, but also physically. As a member, you'll get access to live and on-demand classes three times a week at your own schedule, at your own time. And plus, we do community convos once a month so you can connect with our community with like-minded individuals who are going through the same thing as you we get to connect with each other share our experiences and celebrate our wins in just three to six months you can expect to experience results such as a lowered overall heart rate improved mood less stress and more focus and concentration in your everyday life to become a holistic fit meditation member you can go to my website at holisticfitmeditation.com and click on memberships or click the link in the description box that says become a holistic fit meditation member and i hope to see you practicing soon mm -hmm.